Hey everybody, this is Captain Kyle. I'm at the Foxwoods Resort Casino at Comic-Con. And here we have the Charmed panel. From the hit show Charmed, please welcome Brian Krause and Holly Marie Combs. Second hand. Perfect. <laughs> um, well, we're, we have a, a couple uh, of our questions, and then we'll throw to the audience for questions. So, you know, if you guys want to use this time to think, please do. And I was going to say, uh, it's time to think. <laughs> yes. <laughs> there are two microphones. If anyone wants to step up to a microphone any time, we'll just call to you, and uh, you know, we're going to do this really casually. So we're going to have a good time today. Just walk right up to it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, I didn't expect it that fast, but that's okay. Do you want to, you know what? Yeah, let's, let's she, she is eager. All, what is, what is your name? She's prepared, which makes me nervous. <laughs> oh, no, I don't think it's a bad question. Okay. okay. Okay, so in the show, Piper ends up wearing a whole bunch of BMX motocross <laughs> biking <laughs> outfits. So is it from your costume aired, or is it you who actually enjoys BMX no, biking? No, it, it, was, it was actually a bunch of super cross stuff, um, because my ex-husband, who shall not be named, uh, used to do that when he was a kid, and then my eldest son got into the BMX, so yeah. It was just me basically being lazy, like, no, I already have a shirt on, I'm not changing it. <laughs> I'm good. I'm dressed. I am dressed. I'm not naked. <laughs> That's how that conversation went. <laughs> But I loved it. I was like, wait, I don't know. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Thank you for your question. Good question. Thank you. Yeah. That's a good question. Give it up. <laughs> nice. All right. When, that was it. Oh, that was the yes. only one we got. Yes. <laughs> uh, when you uh, when y'all first read the script mm -hmm. for you know pilot episode or episode one, did you have any idea that it would go 180 something episodes? God no. God no. 179. <laughs> That's Come bad. on, Brad. <laughs> it felt like 180 something. Um, That's not no, bad. no, not at all. Thank you. I think I think I was actually first. I auditioned uh, for Phoebe, which is weird. Um, <laughs> so yeah, no, I had I had no idea, and it wasn't until later that you know, I convinced Aaron Spelling that I was old enough to play Piper. He didn't believe me. I had to put my driver's license on <laughs> the table to prove to him that I was old enough, which is usually the, the opposite in right, Hollywood. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what was your experience like when you read... Oh, you auditioned for somebody else, too. I did, but it wasn't for the pilot, obviously. Um, yeah, Andy Trudeau, I was going to... I auditioned for... That's so oh, weird. No. Thank so, God I wasn't that guy. So <laughs> did, didn't he die early? He did. So Poor Andy. Wrong. He was already yeah, dead. Yeah, hello. So, yeah, I have no idea that it would, that I would even last more than <laughs> three episodes. So, it's quite surprising. Was there a point where you got to like, wow, like this show is successful? Was like, what was that moment like? I know what that moment was. Oh, I, uh, ooh, I want <laughs> a specific moment. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> um, it was actually when I was at the Ocean's Eleven premiere. And I heard this big roar from the crowd, and um, Julia Roberts stepped out onto the red carpet. And she walked up to me, and she whispered in my ear, and I was really afraid, because I was like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, why is she walking towards me? Why is she walking? <laughs> why? And she's tall. So I'm literally, why, 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 why? Am I in her way? Like, I'm, was, I panicked. And she whispered in my ear, and she said, my sister and I really love Charmed. Wow. And just kept walking, like, mic drop killed me, just kept walking. I was like, damn it. And That's then <laughs> I came on set and I told Brian what had happened and you know, whenever he was getting a little off his game, <laughs> I would say, Julia's watching. <laughs> and suddenly he was mega inspired. Uh, that's why I learned a smolder. <laughs> smolder. Julia's Hello, watching. Julia. That's yeah. great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you have a specific moment that you can point to? I mean, that's that was kind of that's it. it. Uh, everyone, <laughs> end game, vicarious moment. No, a, lo a lot of the for me, I mean, a, a lot of 
interaction with fans came much years later when yeah. the cons started happening. Um, and thanks you know, to TNT. And thanks to TNT, <laughs> but in Los Angeles when the show's on, I mean, mm. people in LA are like, ah, oh, another actor. Uh, it wasn't yeah. really until got out of Los Angeles and meeting more people like yourselves that uh, kind of seeing how, what an impact it has. And, right. and then it's been on TNT for... Ever. Forever. Over 10 years, it's been in reruns Forever. at least, almost 15 maybe. Yeah, yeah that's crazy. All right, I have a yeah, very... So, so everybody speak up if you have a question. <laughs> <laughs> I have a very serious question. Uh, uh -oh. Uh, who would win in a fight, Piper, Prudence, and Phoebe, or the three witches from Hocus Pocus? <laughs> <laughs> that's a good question. <laughs> Was there four of them? There was three. Exactly, so there's four of us. Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we might be able to take them. I don't know, though. Yeah, no. That's true. <laughs> They're crafty, though. Yeah. They kind of scare me. <laughs> it's a lot of yeah. witch aficionados in the oh, crowd yeah. today. <laughs> no, you have no idea. You have no idea. That's great. They know the show better than we do. Brian, do you have an opinion? Well, uh, the charmed ones win uh, hands down all wow. the time. Right, right. That's what I say. That's what he says all the time. I got their back. <laughs> <laughs> it's you again. Um, it's you again. It is me again. Ooh. Uh -oh. Yes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ooh. She already did it at a different panel. I'm just not allowed to double down on it just all that much. Brian? <laughs> Passing the buck. You know. <laughs> Go ahead. What are, what are you supposed to say? I mean, it, it, we wish you, them well. You don't want anything to fail. I mean, uh, Obviously, I, I, if the pilot does well and they decide to pick the show it up... It is picked up, Brian. Why are you in How denial? many episodes are they making? He's in total denial. How many episodes did they order? He's saying if it gets picked up. They made a trailer. Please, Brian. Like, they're, they're <laughs> filming right now. Okay. Somebody's playing Leo. Nobody's playing Leo. <laughs> <laughs> well, slide it, and nobody's playing Leo. I saw, I saw the pain in your eyes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Yep. I don't know. I, I think when you look at shows like The Flash and different shows, they brought back cast from the original to, to right. tie in the audience. So there's a whole bunch of people that do not want to watch a show because it doesn't mm. have original. So if they really want to do something good for their new show called, happens to be called Charmed, <laughs> they're, they're going to have to, to bring people from the original back in just to solidify it. And whether they decide to do that or not is beyond me. Or, I think. Are you trying good. to tell me something? No, uh, but next fall there's a new show coming out called Leo. Uh, it's, it's right it's after on Charm CW. on CW on Sunday nights, so make sure to tune in. See how uh, that back door We're going to have a surprise out. guest star. No. <laughs> I don't think the CW is really interested at the moment. Looks like yeah. we have another question. Uh, over the years, the Charmed Ones turned into a lot of strange creatures. So many <laughs> Which was your favorite? I know what was my least favorite. <laughs> that just comes to mind immediately, the Wendigo. I mean, they had to like strap me down, like four different people to shove those yellow contacts in my eyes Ugh. because they go like all the way up and all the way down. It was like, it was literally like somebody was torturing me and I was getting paid for it. So it was really weird. <laughs> it's really weird. <laughs> It's not a traditional method of torture. No. <laughs> well, no, 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 kind of. <laughs> they have that experience in Vegas. You can get the whole thing. It's <laughs> not like Foxwoods. It's, <laughs> it's, it's that's what makes Vegas kind of weird, a little yeah. dirty. Um, I'm just saying. <laughs> so uh, your characters change. <laughs> your characters change a lot through the show. Um, what characteristic or trait stayed the same for both of your characters throughout the show? <laughs> there might be like a key to your to Leo and to Piper. I did my honest, loving oh, nature. Oh Jesus! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so my full of nativity it. Oh my God. wise way. You, you didn't even Maybe. say my characters. You were so <laughs> <laughs> you were so high maintenance, uh. <laughs> and you're leaving all the time, <laughs> probably to your other family. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> 
Leo, this son, this fall. <laughs> Find the true story. What happens between magic and romance? <laughs> Leo. <laughs> You're going to check with the elders again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's great. Hold on, I got to go check in with Piper. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. I love you. <laughs> it's plenty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Um, I guess with mine, it was that she was always undyingly dedicated to family, and unfortunately, some other people. <laughs> <laughs> Undying. <laughs> yep. yep, very dedicated, that one. That's funny. Yep. It looks like we have another question. Yeah. yeah. So, I know that we're here for Charmed, but okay. I was wondering how you felt about your character in Charmed versus your character in Pretty Little Liars, and which one you preferred to play. Ella was way too dedicated to family. <laughs> her family was messed up. And to like remarry the guy that like she divorced for cheating on her, I was like, I am I doing General Hospital? Like, <laughs> when did this happen? Ella is way too forgiving. I don't understand her at all. That's a good question. Yeah. Um. Where do you think you were the same as, as Piper and Leo? Like, where, where, you know, where does the actor end and the character begin? And, and where were you different? Oh. Shared love of Supercross. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it, we did be, begin to morph and blend in together after a while. It just happens when actors get lazy. Um, <laughs> but no, in the beginning, I mean, sh speaking of high maintenance, she was very, very hyper. And she had a walk that was very hyper. And she was very tense. And, Tad bit neurotic at times. Until she met Leo. <laughs> I actually, I believe she began to loosen up a little, if you will, when she met hot neighbor Dan. Uh, wow. <laughs> He's not on this fall. Just, <laughs> <laughs> that's the name of his show. I, <laughs> <laughs> it's on um, the Fox. Right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, go ahead. Do you have a question? Okay. Yes, I do. Uh, so this is a question for each of you. So do you like to cook as much as Piper does? And do you know general first aid, like Leo, human character? Or his alive character, rather? Do you know CPR? I do. Uh, I was uh, a lifeguard for a few years. Pre of course pre -acting. you were. Uh, I haven't quite kept up with it, but when I had a child, I obviously kind of went through the whole thing. But mm -hmm. I haven't kept up with that in a while. But. You know, I'm, I'm more like, throw some super glue on it, spit on it, <laughs> rub some dirt on it, and let's go. Get, okay. get back in the game, kid. <laughs> You're fine. You're fine. Oh, it's not it just broken. fell off. Put it on ice. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody call 911. <laughs> it's kind of me. Okay. Um, yeah, I do like to cook. I like to cook a lot. I had to learn how to cook after the show because... When you're doing a show and you're there over 12 hours a day, they feed you. Mm. And so when I got home and nobody was there to feed me <laughs> or dress me anymore or do my makeup or do my hair, I was like, damn, mm. <laughs> I'm going to have to learn some things now. And then I had all these kids running around my house that just keep saying they're hungry. <laughs> and it gets expensive, oh, yeah. especially awesome. now. Mm. I mean, I don't know where they put it. It's an issue. Mm. Thank you for your question. All right, you look familiar. I know. So, Piper, Dan or Leo, and then universally, Prue or Paige? Wow. Shit just got real. <laughs> oh, damn. Turn, everybody put the phone down. <laughs> Brian? <laughs> she didn't say who the question was addressed to. <laughs> she asked Piper or Dan. Uh, no, no, duh. no, Leo or Dan. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> well, you're okay. <laughs> I'm flustered. <laughs> That's Dan. He's swell. This fall, Leo. <laughs> Dan. Um, Dan. Too close to call. Yeah. Sorry. And the other two? Too close to call. That's the right way to go. <laughs> you also look familiar. Well, I'm asking a question for my mom now. Okay. Oh, that's fair. It's allowed. As many questions as you like for your mom. And she wants to know uh, which were your favorite episodes. Uh, I always say my favorite episode was, uh, God, what the heck is it called? Uh, Leo, Leo, Leo. <laughs> 
Yes, that's what it is. <laughs> it's sword in the city. Uh, I call it the Excalibur episode because that's that's what it was, and that, that's what I got to play with. Sorry, no offense again, but it, the sword was really exciting for me. <laughs> yeah, and I had a really cool guest star on that one. Sorry, no offense again. He had an accent and everything. What's the matter, Holly? I can do an that's, accent. It for wasn't you. that guy. It was the English you guy. You forget about neighbor But Dan. that guy, this, this Spanish Leo is guy. Leo here for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, that guy was Say? <laughs> Every time. Expanding on that, did you, do you have a favorite, either of you guys have a favorite uh, storyline more than just an episode? Leo <laughs> goes to magic school. That's, yeah. That's one of my favorites. And babysits kids. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Get him away from the action and put him in a robe. That's With the a, babies. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it was about, you know, women empowerment and stuff. So. Right, <laughs> right, right. Not, but you know, apparently not integrating we didn't do with men. That the first time around, so. Yeah, there was that little, little teeny part. Yeah. I have another question here. Yes. Holly. Yes. So, <laughs> so in season, in the end of season six, you gave birth, birth to the baby Chris. Okay. And that is, that, that really was, was that really your, no. your son? No, I would not allow him on set. Because <laughs> there, there were rumors that, that, that baby Chris was played by, by your son. No, he has never been on camera as of yet, thankfully. Okay. No, yeah, not as of yet. Maybe when he's 18. <laughs> That's a good question. Yeah. Not even then. <laughs> Are there, uh, are there story arcs that you wanted for your characters that didn't quite work out with the writers or the budget or anything? Yeah, I, would, I pitched Here, them the idea of... Here's where we go to of, like, the complaints department. <laughs> That's all right. That's what we're here for. I pitched the idea of Leo taking over for the Charmed Ones. Right, yeah. You know, of they course. die mysteriously so and thing. I take over. Because they <laughs> yeah. deserve I hold the power of three inside yeah. of me uh -huh. and we could change the title of the show to Leo. Yes. <laughs> See, they just weren't buying back then, but it's but a whole now, new time now. now. Yeah. I'm telling and, uh, you, if I see I'd watch you on the reboot, Brian, I'm telling you right now. <laughs> <laughs> Leah. <laughs> Deal killer. <laughs> Anything for Piper, Holly? Um, something that, I mean, God, I feel like she did everything. Yeah, she did quite a bit. She did cut and get to do everything, which was what was great about that character. Um, I do remember, like, in the beginning when we had the restaurant, I was like, guys, and they were, like, literally piling me with plates which I was not qualified for. I was like, guys, I, I took this job so I wouldn't have to wait tables. <laughs> and then, you know, when I had kids at home, a kid at home, they started handing me babies. And I was like, guys, go to work to get away from the baby. <laughs> now I got him, I got them, because they were always twins. But you were good with the baby. Yeah. Because we traumatized the babies. <laughs> there was that one, that one demon. It really traumatized the babies. Uh, and then Brian had to do like a re-entry with them where he'd just hang out with the babies and be like, look, no demons. Look. Yeah. It's okay. Let's play. No lunch class. break for Leo. No. <laughs> Baby time. Baby time. You were good at it. You were the only qualified parent oh, at that point. Such a no, you had a baby. <laughs> Not, we didn't have any babies. You had the baby. I, I'm sure there were there's 75 people that work on this set. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, give Brian the baby they at lunch. Go put, take him to the set. They like you. I, can I go over here and have a coffee and smoke a cigarette? No. They're like, not around the baby. <laughs> <laughs> and I hold the baby all day. Yeah, you were good at it. See, that's what you get. Yeah, it's fine. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> More babies uh, this fall, though, on Leo. Wow. All right. Yeah. <laughs> the daycare center. <laughs> Another question uh, back, back at the microphone. Following the 8 o'clock Charmed reboot. <laughs> that would actually be a really good idea, too. Stop Store advertising. Body. Right? <laughs> right? <laughs> My question is, Leo. if Charmed was to ever become animated, would you want to be the voice actor behind your characters? Yeah, I think sure. so, absolutely. Because I've heard my, my voice in French and Italian is not so much like me. <laughs> not so much like me. But I could do Leo? No. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, it's just in an accent. That's it. Well, you're, <laughs> That's you're very popular in France, so your voice must be good there. Oui. Oui, oui. Wee. <laughs> I did see your hand go up. Yeah. Technically, only one. One. It was one. No, Lifetime bought them all from other networks. Just pretended I did them. <laughs> I did one. I got to see them on Lifetime. So yeah. I was like, Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. Well, the show that I did when I was 18 was called Picket Fences, and that character was extraordinary. Like, that character had words, vocabulary words, that I had to look up in my dialogue, like, wait, hang on one second. <laughs> go, go. Let me check that out. Um, I mean, she was just so smart, and she was always right. So playing a teenager that's always right, I mean, come on, it's just gold. <laughs> um, and it was a really smart show. It was just, sadly, a little too ahead of its time. It would be great now. It would be like passe now, like whatever. But then it was scandalous. <laughs> um, when I made the Return of the Blue Lagoon, of I, I got to spend three months uh, in Fiji with Mila. Uh, with uh, Mila aside, I He's got to. Like, <laughs> I was there for a month, kind of hanging out with the natives, and you were hanging out, teaching in a me how to <laughs> Just live on out. an island. Yes, I was naked. <laughs> Most but not that time. naked. It's PG, PG, <laughs> PG thirteen. Yeah, it was good. But if you ever get a chance to go to Fiji, I highly recommend it. The people are amazing. It's beautiful. And you can hang out in Moon Club. And you could—they don't care. They don't care. <laughs> Got a question back there? I have kind of two questions. Um, what was it like filming, dealing with all the special effects, with the spells and everything? Did you have to just. Hard. Pretend they were happening, or just pause while they did whatever they were going to do? Both. You had to do a lot of freezing. A lot of freezing. I'm sorry. <laughs> and then a lot of like, Not okay, the, no, move the tape to the left. Okay, right there, that's the demon head. Okay, ready? Everybody look at the same spot. And it's growling. Oh, and you'd be like... <gasps> <laughs> oh, wait, I, I, wait, wait. I wasn't looking at the X. We got to go again. <laughs> Try it again. Okay, I'm back so to the X. Everybody in the same X? Yeah. <gasps> <laughs> it's hard. It's, it's, it's hard to take yourself seriously. <laughs> it really is. And it's hard to take other people seriously when they're doing stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. It's not easy. It's harder than it looks. Like, I could sit there and do, like, an hour of David Kelly dialogue with no problem because he makes you look good. Like, with this, you have to make people believe that stuff that is not real is actually real. Make them afraid of it or at least interested in it. You know? It's hard. Uh, green, another green. question. Um, did you enjoy going from a more defensive power to an offensive power where you actually blow things up? Absolutely. <laughs> who doesn't want to blow stuff up? That just sounds wrong in this day and age, but who doesn't? I love how quickly you were like, yes, next question. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I actually have Offense. <laughs> I have Don't a question. Be that's, uh... Don't be bitter that you didn't get one. <laughs> <laughs> you had healing. It's very... Healing. It's all right. <laughs> but this fall. Just wait till the yeah. exact. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first question I wrote when we got asked to moderate this panel. Uh -oh. um, if you had been asked to do a corporate tie in on the show, would you have been okay with a lucky charmed cereal? Oh. Heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see why not. <laughs> I mean, really. <laughs> We did have the one. Oh, leprechaun. you can create like little marshmallow, like witch hats. Exactly. Yes. That's exactly. Right? <laughs> you can have the little, you know, the magic wand. Yep. Mm -hmm. I that, love that idea. That'd be awesome. That would be great. I need those <laughs> at midnight. Hi. I'll go, I'll go over. Um, so I was wondering, <laughs> you've done movies and TV shows. Uh, which one do you like the most, and what's more difficult or easier about mm -hmm. them? Uh, you know, I used to say movies just because the characters were more um, in-depth and interesting, and now the tides have really, really changed, where TV has elevated itself to a level where, excuse you, where, can you not? 
<laughs> I know, I know. This is going to be, a, wasn't going to be a long-winded answer. Um, but, you know, TV shows are so much better than they used to be to the point where now, you know, we have Emmy nominations that look like Oscar nominations. And I'm like, can you people go back to your movies? <laughs> because it's getting a little rough for the rest of us around here. <laughs> Once Susan Sarandon and you know Meryl Streep and everybody starts doing TV, you're like, oh, <laughs> axe. <laughs> um, but also in TV because, well, you know, I've been lucky enough to do three shows. The first one was four years, and the second one was eight, and the third one was seven. And that doesn't usually happen. I don't know why I'm saying that out loud right now. <laughs> I'm just totally jinxing myself, and I'm never going to work again. But so this is my final farewell. But. You know, I've been able to develop characters in ways that you usually wouldn't be able to do in a movie anymore. You just don't have enough time, certainly not eight years. Right. Thank you. Brian, do you have Well, you'll be problem? working this fall. <laughs> <laughs> no, I will not. <laughs> we discussed this. We'll have you in for season two of Leo. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I, you know, say, I, it's a great answer, but I used to always say films as well, but there's, there's so much more content in television today with, uh, now that you break down, you know, the FCC is out of right. so many shows on Netflix and HBO and Showtime and Amazon that... On cable we get to say bad words. You get to say bad words and kind of it's become a little more raw. Uh, it's fantastic television. Uh, you know, shows from Ozark to Black Mirror to, I mean, just, you can, we can go down the list and... You do. You get a, a better chance to create gritty characters, and I think that's what the audience wants today. A little less of that soap opera, and a little more look at like almost a real life television, if you will, which used to be films, uh, right. which is now very much television everywhere. Yeah, that's great. You, sir. Uh, so I have two questions uh, yes. for Holly. Uh -oh. So, how do you? <laughs> so how do you feel about the, your Piper going from the middle sister? To the older sister, is there was there a big uh, character change as Clint being either? Yeah, she could not be so hyper. She mm. needed to be more well organized and, mm. and together. And so, and that was another element that I got to do with her, which you know you don't always get to do, um, especially in a case like that. But yeah, to go from that to being the oldest sister and allowing all of that sort of family drama to play out cathartically for me and the character was very important because. You know, what Aaron Spelling used to say is that, you know, this was a family show that just happened to be about witches. Mm -hmm. And so the family element was always very important to us from the, the very beginning because that's the part that's relatable and that's, you know, the easier part for people to understand. And that's why we can convince you that there's a dragon flying around because you're like, I like these sisters, they're yeah. cool. And then there's mm -hmm. a dragon. Yeah. <laughs> so, whoa. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that was one of those times. <laughs> and for Brian, if you could direct a charmed, uh -oh. like, no, special. No, no, no. This is a terrible question. Like a Christmas or Halloween no. themed special. How would that arc look? <sighs> Leo saves Christmas. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love that. Leo <laughs> saves Christmas. I like that. Leo saves Christmas. There you go. So the girls go to Aspen as they do. They, somehow they as afford they it. Do. They're, they're like the friends people that could just afford that apartment. It's the same thing with the girls at this house. Like what? What the heck? But they go to Aspen, mm -hmm. where they run into the abominable snowman. Oh I know it's God, fictional. Please, but, yeah. So I got to come down and I'm save them and say, "I'll check with the elders." This is why we. Never <laughs> Luckily, got to be my there. other family is vacationing there as well. <laughs> <laughs> and we get I kind of a lifetimey theme going, right? <laughs> what is going on? Oh my god, Leo. Well, Dan's here too. Oh my gosh. Wait. So we finally profess our love for one another again. Meanwhile, again. vanquishing the abominable snowman no. together forever no. again. No. I love you for always. <laughs> this, this is why we didn't get a reboot. Boom. <laughs> 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 That's must-see TV right there. Right there. <laughs> this fall. This fall. I'll when you're when you're here. when you're in a relationship for you know many many years on a television show, 
How close does it feel like you're in a relationship to a real life? <laughs> Do you see us? I, know. <laughs> I mean, we're still together, fucking 50 years later. <laughs> what? Ah. Is, is that a question for me? No. <laughs> All right. Just sit there and look pretty. That okay, I'll <laughs> sit here. That was great. Smolder. <laughs> nice. Question over he here. still got it. <laughs> Yeah, um, obviously today we have a lot of ways to broadcast ourselves, via, um, whether it be via YouTube or our phones, wherever channel we want to go to. Webcam. Um, yeah, we can make our own shows, basically. That was super so, creepy. <laughs> it's also very explorative and um, allows people's creativity to shine, which I love. But being from the East Coast as myself, I'm wondering, L.A. is kind of like a hub for movies and TV. Mm -hmm. There has been a little bit of talk on the East Coast about opening some studios or whatever. The taxes are better, things like that. Right. What do you see realistically as the East Coast playing um, an important role in movie making like LA is? Well, today Atlanta is the Atlanta number is, one yeah. uh, spot in the world for film and television production. It is beyond Los Angeles, it's beyond Vancouver. Atlanta yeah. is the new Hollywood. Yep. The, the report I did not just know in. That, thank you. <laughs> report so, just yeah, in. Move, move just in. In. If you want to get in the industry right now, Atlanta is a place to move. Yeah. If you want any sort of job in the industry at all, from a, a construction person to a person that is catering to you want to get in the business or whatever, it's it's they're looking for people to work in the industry right now. And New Orleans too. Move it to Connecticut. <laughs> <laughs> uh, open a studio. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So another question out here? Well, then you're in Atlanta. And then we'll come down front. <laughs> um, yeah, I just had, I was just wondering um, whether or not either of you would be open to um, a revisitation of your characters in the future. I mean, you said that you would if it was a cartoon. I was just wondering if, say, it took the Boy Meets World route where it takes back and kind of picks up with your kids. Mm -hmm. You know, and you're kind of the lead of the family as you have been. You know, would be open to that kind of show for your future. That means we got to put up with Drew and Wes. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, no, I think we've all been open to it at different points during different years. I think we've all gone on record and say we were open to it. Um, what about you? Well, yeah, I, of course. I think that'd be great, but I'm, I'm a little more interested in perhaps doing a... Uh, <laughs> no, no, same vein, more of a musical theater. <laughs> <laughs> we can travel, we take this thing on the road. Like an abominable snowman man. thing. We kind of do a little vaudeville <laughs> act. <laughs> Come in, oh, the whole stage show. I like that. Yeah. 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 I mean, that, and we could travel with this it. This is going to give me, like, nightmares. <laughs> like, Piper! There's puppets. Hey, we do a whole little stand-up bit. I already have terrible <laughs> visuals already. I think we had a question over here. Yeah, right. It's going to be fun. <laughs> no! <laughs> Wait, we're doing it now. We are doing it now. <sighs> I know my least favorite was when you were leaving again. <laughs> you had to go somewhere. You were in the gold robe, and I was wet and crying again. Uh, it's a very it, sad it one. It broke my heart. No, it didn't. <laughs> <laughs> you just stood there and smoldered. You smiled in such a mean way when she said, no, you didn't. <laughs> uh -huh. yep. I was thinking about that other family in Hawaii. Yeah, exactly. I, I gotta go. I gotta go. Check with the elders. I'll meet you in Aspen in a few years. Somewhere around Christmas. <laughs> so difficult. <laughs> Gonna go back in time and insert that lines. <laughs> the future. That's so funny. So you? Yes. Yeah, so my question is, uh, did y'all get any work done on set? Not a lot. <laughs> not a lot. No, that's not the question. Wait. Not a lot. We messed up more than we got right. <sighs> we did. I, I mean, some I never were worse than up. others. <laughs> <laughs> but my, my 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 real question is, like, did y'all like actually like play pranks on each other, and did y'all have any like? Funny moments on set. We did. We Oof. had we had a lot of moments where we got in trouble and where directors got mad at us because we were wasting time and money. <laughs> <laughs> and so after I became a producer, a lot of that stopped. 
there was no fun to be had. Yeah. <laughs> it's too expensive. Tried messing around with her looking over your shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of here. Got to go. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, yeah. Um, I was wondering. Um, <laughs> it's okay. You, I'll, I promise we'll get to your question. I promise. Sorry, go ahead. Um, I was just wondering where Hallowell Manor was actually located, like in, in real life. I know it's based It's not in bases. San Francisco. <laughs> yeah, I was just wondering where it's actually located. It's, it's by downtown LA. Because again, San Francisco is too expensive. <laughs> Okay, thank you. It's, it's on a street called Carroll Street in a part of Los Angeles, Echo Park, I believe, mm -hmm. in which it's, uh, there's a whole block or two blocks yeah. of uh, historically, historic homes that have been rebuilt, Here comes uh, Professor refurbished, Leo. and it's, <laughs> it's a whole block reboot. that kind of takes you back to the early 20th century uh, Los Angeles this homes. It's like your audition tape. It's, it's, beautiful. <laughs> it's, be it's a beautiful area. You, you love it. Professor Leo. Don't walk around there at night. <laughs> True story. Right here in Just the front. Saying. True story. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. 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 I they, will not let you finish that sentence. No. no. They, they tried to make us sing once, and we were like, no. John. So Rose sang instead. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Back there at the microphone. Okay. Um, I was wondering how it felt going from just being an actor to then producing, and mm -hmm. I don't know, did you direct to some of I the episodes? I did not. I okay. have not yet. Okay. I'm how not sure was it, I went to. like, adding more roles in the whole production of um, it? I was always pretty vocal about my opinions about, you know, how I thought the show should look and sound and progress. Um, so when I became a producer, it was just more of an official title to something I was already bothering them about. It just meant that they actually like had to sit down at a table and listen to me sometimes, as opposed to walking away from me when I was talking. <laughs> I'd be like, hey, but hey, but hey, hey, but that one time? No? All right. Yeah. So it didn't change much for me personally. I'm sure it did for other people. Right here? <laughs> Brian, hit your mark. Brian, go play with the babies. <laughs> You're the king of callbacks. I love it. That's great. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Isn't it fun? <laughs> it is fun. Yes, yeah, right here. No, you can't. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. No, you can't say that. I don't want to. You're welcome for making me feel That's old. super nice. <laughs> I'm tearing up. Just ancient, <laughs> wise, sage one. <laughs> what does that make you? What'd you say? <laughs> Grandpa Leo, this Sunday. <laughs> brought to you by Depends. Totally. <laughs> when Leo's got to go, he's got to go. See, this Can, is why I bring him. <laughs> wait, is Grandpa Leo a spinoff of Leo? <laughs> They're back to back. <laughs> I'm going to host Talking Leo <laughs> at the end of the two. This <laughs> is <laughs> definitely not going to be on the CW. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have a question too? Yeah. Uh, Michelle Branch was one of my personal favorites, and we like to talk over Instagram every once in a while mm -hmm. about being our person, our own personal favorites, <laughs> um, which is so long ago. I remember her telling me that she had um, VHS tapes. I know that you're 22 and you don't understand this <laughs> but but sent to her on tour. Don't lie. <laughs> don't just try and make me feel better now. I know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't know yeah. what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> huh? Ah. <laughs> She, she said the movie box. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> See, and this is what it just looks like on set, why it was so expensive. How about you, Brian? You got a fave? What was the question? What was the question? <laughs> <laughs> favorite, favorite uh, musical. Oh, Michelle. Oh, uh, you know, show. I wasn't th there really when they did all the music. It was basically so, the Charm Girls. It was it was usually at the end of an episode, remember. wrapping okay. them up. And yeah. it's okay. I, it's okay. We, we I, yeah, I don't have remember. Moments where we. <laughs> 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 we what? had the cranberries. Uh, what's uh, oh yeah, there no, you go. The one, the only one I really knew was um, "Day with Your Best Shot," gal. Uh, Pat Benatar. You were having Why the who? <laughs> the one with the leather pants. Yeah. That was me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like her. That was good. Yeah. You were his favorite musical guest. That's nice. <laughs> right here. I saw you stand there for a long time. What do you got? Hi. Um, Hi. I was just wondering if you guys had any like favorite guest stars that you wish had stayed on the show longer because they were so fun to work with. Well, there was that Spanish guy, the English guy. <laughs> uh, Billy Worth. Billy Zane. <laughs> a lot of Billys. Sorry. Did you like a guy? <laughs> <laughs> Where's his ear horn? Neighbor Dan. <laughs> <laughs> this is the After Dark version with Leo. It's, it's three hours a night of Leo. <laughs> it is now. Yeah. Must Leo Little TV. Little Red Shoe Diary thing with Dan. Oh, jeez. So, yeah, and yeah, anyway. <laughs> so We're many hitting visuals. every target. I like that. All right, let's see. How about you? Uh, if you guys had the opportunity uh, to do it all over again, which character will you play again or play and why? Not Andrew Trudeau. <laughs> <laughs> kind of died. Uh, I may be... Mm, oh, I know what you're going to say. You don't want to be Balthazar. No. <laughs> I'd be Leo again. Leo's the best. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. you know, a I was a, being a dad, it was it was always nice to kind of push the, the the good moral message and always have what the truth is and honesty. And it, I just kind of felt like I was kind of carrying that as a father as well. And and to be in a show where you know it's good against evil, that you know I was always driving the point of you know make make smart choices. You know, and that good always wins. And Did so, Jamin like watching so, the show? My son's never seen the show. <laughs> <laughs> my my ex-wife says I play a devil on it. <laughs> it cheats on his wife, and uh, right. so yeah, we're in therapy now. It's great, and so we're we're just gonna we introduce are, you him. You guys are. Well, we're doing a family thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're, we're running short on time, so we're gonna try to get to everybody. Are you still? I would play Piper, just so you know. Just so you know. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much, man. All right, let's see. There you go. What is your least favorite trait that your characters had? Wow. Great she question. She was so neurotic. Just so worrisome. It was really annoying. Mm. Don't agree with me right now. <laughs> <laughs> is it like a little naggy? I know. Go ahead. What was your, your least favorite yeah. trait about passive Leo? Passive Leo. <laughs> It kind of goes back to that same statement of, you know, always always a good one. I mean, like, just break the rules once, right? Just, I'm sure you did. I, yeah, I way. did, but just like... <laughs> <laughs> it's way, yeah, right. but right. yes, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, but there was... No, he just he just means he wants to like fight someone. Yeah. <laughs> to, like, I'm a little more badass Leo. I hear that. Stuff up. I like that. Yeah. I think he tried. Well, that this one. Sunday, this fall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it's Leo, then Grandpa Leo, Leo, then Leo. badass Leo. <laughs> hey, yeah. All right, right over here. You Leo. <laughs> yeah. All right. So you guys turned into stuff, and you dealt with whatever. Did you have a favorite demon that you thought was entertaining at the very least? I did not like the demon of fear stuff. He put animals on me. Tarantula. Ooh. Well, I remember that. <laughs> yeah. That was not right. I'm sure you had very many female demons. Right. Oh, look. Look at the memory. <laughs> <laughs> oh. His face lit up like a Disney yeah. flower. Oh, there was there was that one episode with all the Amazon ladies. 
they they were be witches. No, just say it. No. Yeah, they were they were the worst. I mean, it was all about Piper. <laughs> Look at you. Struggle is real. Hey, listen. You know, a demon. Uh-huh. Sexy demons are sexy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Obviously, it didn't work out. Obviously. <laughs> Now, Balthazar was probably the most, he probably the sexy. best. Did you just say he was sexy? Demon. Don't tell that to he's Julian. six foot five, tall, dark, and handsome, okay? Yeah. I mean, like, every, the whole world knows he's sexy. Julian needs Jeez. no help in that department. But that was probably the best demon. He was. Yeah. He was. Kind of had both sides of him, right? The good and the bad? Oh, yeah. As opposed to just the good. He's actually on this fall. Is he? Yeah. Wow. That's true. Just That's a joke. Wacky, wacky neighbor for Leo. <laughs> <laughs> would you uh, would you have changed anything about the ending of the show, or, or are you no. pretty delighted with the series? I think, it, you know, we were lucky enough to have enough time to prepare for it, and yep. the writers were really good about letting us have input into how we wanted it to end and how we wanted our characters to end up. So I actually sat with the girls in... in one of our trailers, and, and we discussed it, you know, and it was a nice way to wrap it up for all of us. We were all really satisfied with it. And from what I hear, people like it. Yeah. Nice. That's it. Yeah. Almost like it couldn't be re- Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say it. That was so great. I didn't say it. That was awesome. <laughs> Brian, any thoughts? I mean, the closure. It was amazing. It was amazing. Yeah. Uh, no, it was nice because I, you know, the writers had a, a good year to plan for the end of a show, uh, which we've all watched shows that just all of a sudden they don't coming back, and you're like, but uh, they didn't answer, and right. you know, we were one of the only shows that were fortunate enough to be able to do that, and you know, have to be be able to give that to fans of like, okay, you wrapped it up. There's, yeah, you can hang your hat on a beginning, middle, and end. Where so many shows just. You figure you're just in the middle, but they, they don't come back. Yeah, that's uh, awesome. So it was, it was kind of nice. That's great. All right, I think this is going to be our last question. I'm sorry. sorry and and your I hundredth promise. question. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no. Um, I apologize. So the ending was great, and we love the wrap-up, but how did you feel about that, like, six months where it was just like, we're different people, and we're just going to look different and act the same? It was weird. No? Wasn't there. Don't, couldn't tell you. <laughs> Bitter, bitter, bitter. <laughs> what wasn't there? Listen, you were expensive. That's such a... <laughs> not. I love how well, honest I this has been. I was You were expensive. <laughs> I was. <laughs> I would. Uh huh. It's a okay. Bitch. No, it's not. Listen, Sorry, kids. You came kids. back in the end. Everybody had a happy ending. Stop ruining it for the folks. <laughs> Yes, we are. We travel together far too often. We do this like every Hi. <laughs> um, yeah, I think they were just trying to keep the audience entertained and engaged, and they say, <laughs> Can I help you? T- tell them more. <laughs> tell them where they can anyway. go to see the two of us this fall. No. <laughs> No, the answer is no. This is rolling will be a window. circle in the round. In uh... no. no, no. I do have one final question. Yes, sir. If you could send a message to the pre-charmed versions of yourself, mm. what would that message be? Take the other job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Words I'm of wisdom. Kidding. <laughs> uh, oh man. I would say don't sweat the small stuff, and I sweated a lot of small stuff. <laughs> yeah. Don't date the youngest sister. Don't do that either. <laughs> yes. I wasn't going to go there, but since you opened that door, don't date. Uh, hmm. Yeah, there was that. <laughs> well, those are great answers. Those yeah. are great uh, answers. Words, those words of wisdom. Words of wisdom. You like, know what? There went From your, both of you. There went your mic drop. <laughs> That was great. Well, thank you guys very much for doing this. Uh, thank you guys for your honesty and being willing to be open. Yeah, and we're to, sorry to, about that. Uh, you, you guys could do a comedy tour. You guys could go on tour together and do a comedy tour. So give it up thank for Holly Marie Combs I, I know, and Brian Krause. Thank you guys very much. That was great. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. You can subscribe here 
So subscribe to the channel. There's more videos off to the left. And Mr. J says, don't forget to ring that bell button for more notifications.